first one we've got a photo of um, Liverpool's zonal marking structure. So it consists of you've got two players covering the near post zone and then a line of five players covering the um, six yard box. And then they use two blockers in front of these, uh, in front of the back line to block any runs and slow down opposition basically. And then you've got two people on the edge of the box as well to cover the um, people on the edge. So Liverpool, Liverpool commit all the men back from corners, which obviously helps them not be outnumbered. So a brief idea behind zone marking really is to ensure you can cover the whole space of the six yard box and pretty much the whole box really. So where the opponents are going to run to while ensuring that those gaps in between those zones are as small as possible. So by committing all the men back, that obviously helps them to become a bit more compact. So, the thing with man, the thing, the problem I have with man marking is the structure that you use is completely dependent on the opposition. So you're just following the opposition around basically in the box. So, in terms of what it, what your structure looks like from second balls, it can almost be a little bit random. So if the opposition all push to one side of the one side of the box. And all your man markers follow them. Obviously, that leaves space at the back post and the centre for crosses coming. But then, if you do clear it at the near post, your whole structure is dependent on where the opposition are. Whereas with zonal marking, because you're not moving dependent dependent of the opposition, you you've got more of a a less random structure to it. So you can push out in lines, as I've got in some photos here. So dealing with the second balls is all about depth, really, and staggering. So getting in this photo here, we see Liverpool have got three distinct lines. So you've got, you've almost got the back four, you've almost got four, four, two in your own box, just from the second ball. So we can see that structure there. That's, that kind of sums up the benefits of it. So Liverpool, when Klopp first came in, they had some real issues with set pieces, really, particularly them second phase ones from, um, from corners. So the problem was the blockers, they were following the runners and, and not really sticking into zones. So players were reacting to where the ball was going rather than staying in the zones. And if the ball comes in, going and heading it away. So you ended up, as we can see in the photos here, you ended up with a flat line of players. So no sta no staggering whatsoever. So when the ball came out, they didn't, they didn't cover any ground. So they conceded lots of goals from second players. And we see that again in this photo here. 